Hello and welcome back to Reactions by Jeff. Over the next week I will be reacting to Dimash. And I have come up with a little... Um, okay, it's a PowerPoint slide. I'm a, I'm a teacher. Uh, so uh, I have a PowerPoint slide that I call Dimash Bingo. But you can also look at it as a viewer's guide to understanding how Dimash is as strong of a performer as he actually is. So let me actually show you that particular slide, and uh, we will talk a little bit more about Dimash as an artist. So this is Dimash Bingo. It's, it's sort of my humorous way of looking at Dimash in terms of the components that make him up. And there are things that he does vocally, and there are things that he does as a performer to help draw us in. And so I've listed out nine of these. I'm not a vocal coach, I'm not a performance coach. So I'm sure there's like 5,000 other of these, or there might be a different term or a different way of presenting, of representing these. But um, these are the nine that I came up with. And these are the ones that as I go through the Dimash um, week, these are the things that I'm going to look for. Um, I'm, I'm not a very empathetic person. And so when he sings, I don't, I don't have that, that like organic, um, gritty, like alignment with him that, that other people have had. And I've watched people completely become entranced by Dimash that basically the whole room disappears, but he's there. That doesn't happen to me. But what happens to me is I listen and I watch and I, 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 I appreciate these components. And these are the components that I look for in order to build Dimash as, as, a, as a great performer. And so the things that I look for are right here, up here, and I'll just go through them quickly. Don't look Dimash in the eyes. Just don't. It's over if you do. Um, he has, his eyes carry the, the performance. Just watch his eyes. He, he's, he's engaged and he's he's using his eyes to draw us into the scene he's an he's an amazing person when it comes to utilizing his body to sell a song and so if you notice he in many of his videos he'll do a knee drop or a drop to his knees and he'll he'll just use his body to surrender his body to the performance and to you and then technically he does these amazing, crazy, I call them crazy runs. They're just amazing how he actually is able to do runs and melismas and, and all sorts of things with his voice to, to that are just runs and riffs. I mean, his ability to control his vocal cords and the pitches that come out of them is just amazing. Related to that, he also has amazing breath control. He has the ability to hold a note forever. I mean, I, I think he could probably hold a note much longer than he's actually done. And thus far, I've only seen 25 seconds, um, and I'm sure there's longer. And I'm sure if you put it in the comments, I'll, I'll go find those performances. His breath control is the thing, if I were to take any component of his his technique, his technical prowess, if I were to be able to copy and paste any of those things into my DNA, it would be breath control. His his lung capacity and his breath control. Because out of that comes everything else. That's my opinion. I'm not a vocal coach, but if you cannot control your breath, you cannot control your cords. That's that's that just makes sense to me. And if I'm wrong, I I I will be told off. That's perfectly fine. But if I were to take any any talent that he has and copy and paste it into my ability to sing, it'd be his breath control because that breath control allows him to do long notes. It allows him to do dynamics. It allows him to be able to build a line from soft to loud, to soft, to loud, to soft, to medium, to loud, to soft, to super loud, to whatever. It, it allows him to do that volume control to own the message of a particular part of a song. That breath control also allows him to control the register shifts. He doesn't have to strain to move into whistle tone. He doesn't have to strain to go into baritone. He doesn't have to strain to go from one to the other. He doesn't have to do that. Breath control carries the day. It also helps him do that breathy vocal. And it's a signature of his. When he starts off songs, he 
His ability to use breath to draw us in through his singing is amazing. Again, breath. His ability to have breath control gives us that because it allows him to go so soft and so airy that we are we are we're engaged. We have no choice because we're wondering where what what's going on? Why why is it so quiet? Um and all of that helps build. Again, breath control, well, it doesn't help with a knee drop. But basically, if you have all of these tools, your vocal tools under control, everything else should be easy to do. You get out of your own way. And so one of the, all of this sort of adds up to this great stage presence. If he knows that no matter what he wants to do with a song, he can, then his stage presence is one of complete and utter confidence. When he walks out on the stage, when he starts performing, he owns that stage and no one can challenge him. No one. He is that performance and his stage presence is it. You should not be looking at anything else but Dimash. And if you are, you're there, there's something wrong with you. Sorry. But he owns the stage. And, and that's, that's because he has all of those other things. You are drawn to him through all of his technical prowess and his ability to carry it through his body. He uses his body in a way that carries the message of the song so that your attention is drawn to him and that the message that he's presenting is given through him and it is solid. Related to stage presence, and this is sort of the... The, the things that um, a lot of performers don't actually have. And if you look at other performers, you'll notice they don't um, to the same degree is energy, stamina, and commitment. There are a lot of people who, a lot of performers who don't have energy. They'll go in and they'll just, they'll do a 70% performance and it looks like it's 40%. If Dimash is performing at 80%, it's still 130%. You never know when he's not giving 110%. He's always at 110%. And he can continue that across. And he knows how to build and use his body and use breaks in a song to help recharge his, his, his voice and his body. And so his stamina on stage is, is remarkable, but that all comes back to breath control and, and his ability to understand his voice. And again, breath control gives him all of this. And again, if I'm wrong, just tell me. Um, but commitment um, also is one of the key things to remember, and it's related to stage presence. No matter who he is on that stage, no matter what happens, he is committed to that moment. And so when if something goes wrong, he won't know. You won't know. He is committed to that particular performance in that particular way. If he misses a note, which he never does, um, you won't ever know. He is committed to that performance at 175 to 3,000 percent. Yes, I, I exaggerate. But these are the things that I look for when I watch Dimash, and these are the things that Dimashify people, in my opinion. And I know there are more. Please let me know what else there is. I, I will not be offended if you say, you forgot this. Go ahead. Knock yourself out. Because, again, these are the things that I look for. Because I spent 15 years in choirs. And then I spent 20 some odd years enjoying karaoke. And singing. And listening to people sing. And and I really appreciate great performances. I, I love when a singer and a perform is an actual performer rather than just a singer, someone who brings us in and actually takes that song and makes it theirs. And at the end, there's silence, like audience control through their voice. That's amazing. And Dimash has that ability to control an audience through his, his stage presence and his voice. So I've gone on and on and on for way too long about this, but basically um, this is how I look at Dimash when I, when I listen to Dimash, when I am reacting to Dimash, I won't necessarily 
call attention to all of this stuff. I'm not going to have a checklist. I'm, I'm really not, um, even though I was a teacher, I don't really like doing check boxes and giving people A's, but I'm giving this to you for you guys to have sort of a viewer's guide to Dimash in a way. And I call it Dimash bingo. Um, because, well, some people want to put little check marks everywhere and like, oh, bingo, when they hit everything. Um, but again, this is just a way of, of looking at Dimash. And this is this is some of the things that I have come to admire in his his technique and in all of all of it. So I'm going to be quiet now and get ready for the week of Dimash. If you have any questions, please put them in the comments. Um, if you like what you're seeing over the course of the week, please click subscribe. If you want to know more about when things are coming out, then click the little bell and you will be notified when my next video drops. Thank you again.